The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, we've got two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Is this all the show is now? Yeah. Just you introducing people? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. That's better than what we normally put out. Yeah. So if you could just... Keep introducing and welcoming people in okay. for an hour and a half. That'd be great. All I'm right. all for it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. Uh, we like to call him The Wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Scotty, I am now comedy royalty. You will just you will address me as Lord Derek? Lord Derek. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Your majesty will work as well. Are, are you can, really? I just go, can I just go champ? Nope. Nope. Okay. You are not my dad. <laughs> Chief? <laughs> Sport? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No Gatsby. I'm not going to be sport either. And I'm only 116th Cherokee, so Chief will not work either. Fair enough. Damn. That's Uh, that's bad. Are you related to uh, that singer, Lord? No. Randy Marsh? Not at all. Oh. Okay. Well, fair enough. Not at all. But whatever. Yeah. Go Uh, on. But anyway. South South Park. Oh. Somehow, Scotty, you managed to clunk this shit up. No, I didn't say a word. (laughs) I know. I I would like to give you a knuckle sandwich. (laughs) No, I don't want one. I'm not hungry. A five knuckler. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ten knuckler, both hands. Uh-huh. Yeah. A Dukin style. I, you might as well. This show is all about making fun of me. You know what my dad still calls me to this day? A fucking mistake and a disappointment? <laughs> Pretty close. He calls me squirt. Uh, I should have been stain. <laughs> nope, nope, squirt. He calls me squirt still. So? I don't know. I just, that's probably because he what is that's what he made your mother do the night you were conceived. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the only, that was the only time I made her squirt. <laughs> what is awful. information nobody fucking asked for? <laughs> <laughs> moving on. But anyways, welcome. What in. if that's why? Yeah, it's not. That, that would be great. <laughs> like that was his biggest conquest in life. <laughs> Was that he made your mom squirt, uh, and, then, and he's got to tell you about it. <laughs> and he just, and that is like your nick. That's why he calls you squirt. Anyway, and it's like an inside joke between him and your mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch this. Watch this. They di- squirt. They're, they're divorced now. So, hey, come yeah. over here. It's not pee. Yeah. Well, just, <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good just remember this scotty uh that's probably your fault <laughs> so, anyways welcome into another episode of laughing on the sidelines this is a comedy <laughs> podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever in fact 95 percent of the time they are targeted towards me and I'm okay with it. Uh, but also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. All right. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to go over. We've got sports to go over. Got a lot of stuff. Derek's going to be an absolute genius about the baseball lockout. I'm really excited about that because I don't know Am what I? the fuck's going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking pressure's on. Uh huh. Pressure's on. Um, but, is the uh, heat on? Is Glenn Fry here? The heat is on. Is that what you were thinking of? What are songs nobody fucking asked for for 2000, Alex? <laughs> Great. Oh, that's the Daily Double, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. The Heat Is On by Glenn Fry, sung by Scotty? <laughs> no. Yes, it is. We okay. didn't ask for that. We fucking sang it. I'm going to challenge that. <laughs> and uh, the judges say that's correct. Yeah. Uh, but we've got uh, real shit, horse shit, overrated, underrated, questions, preguntas, another draft, and another shitty situation, as always. Is Trebek still dead, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Yep, still died. Um, but we're going to start off this week with our week, week recap, as we usually do, uh, usually do, talking about what happened to us over the last week. So, Derek. Yeah. How'd it go? Uh, I didn't do a lot. The highlight of my week was I went down to the uh, Looney Bin Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brent Terhune was in town, who is a very funny comedian from Indianapolis. Uh, Dwight Smith, I want to say, was the middle act. Mm-hmm. I know the first name's Dwight. I can't remember the last one. I think that's it. If not, it's a pretty common name. I got. I'm feeling good about it. Okay. 
And then uh, our good friend Ginger Crush, uh, Steve Peters, yeah, was baby. the MC, and uh, Brent Terhune. I he's he's seen all over with viral videos, like all over the internet. Uh, he does like this character called the Redneck Patriot, which he he closed on. Fuck uh, yeah, it, he's fucking. And he yeah, I, last time he was here, he didn't close on it. He just didn't. He was just himself. Mm-hmm. But the story he told before that, before he did that, was just as fucking fantastic. He's really funny. Uh, Dwight Smith was not bad. Uh, he was pretty decent. He actually told it like a 16 minute story on DMX that I haven't been invested in a story. It didn't even make me laugh that much, but it was just such a good story. Well, that's going to suck if the audience isn't on board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Right. Cause you're stuck in that fucking story for 16 minutes. Right. And speaking of the audience, not being on board, uh, Steve huh? Peters MC. Yeah. <laughs> and, Actually, uh, that's that's just a joke. He Didn't did MC. He did MC. He that's the best I've ever seen him do. Really, uh, it's probably been October since I saw him last. Yeah, and he was doing an open mic, and he's always been. I you know he's got a few good things here and there, but he's mm-hmm. kind of his stage presence never. Really, I never thought was really that great. It was okay, and he was kind of wordy at times, and and I fuck it was a totally different guy. I okay. mean, he it was wound tight. His opener was one. Of, it, was, it was fantastic. And his crowd work was good, which I don't like to do, but mm-hmm. I just I was very impressed. Most people don't like the host to do crowd work. No. It fucks up the audience. It can. But uh, I was very impressed with Steve. Hmm. So do you think and, what was holding him back in October was fall allergies? No. Nah. Nah. No? No. Nah. Nah. Okay. Was, Halloween was on the brain. All right. He was on this show. I think that probably held him back a little bit. So, yeah. Probably, and then, yeah. Yeah, you bring everything to an ass grinding halt, Scotty. <laughs> As little, much as I tried to boost that comedy, you just kept dragging it down. Yeah. I had a guy uh, at work. For those of you that don't know, I do work at a bank now because uh, I am an interesting man. Uh, I work at a bank, and I uh, had a guy come in the other day, clearly on something. Uh, Sperm st- or regular? Uh, regular. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Uh-huh. Uh, clearly on something. Not sure what, but uh, he comes in and he wanted change for a hundred dollar bill, and he hands me a hundred dollar bill, and right on the front it says "Play Money." Uh huh. <laughs> and yeah, you can tell it's been a copy. And he proceeded to jump my ass up and down, uh, telling me to look at the serial number because it matched. And I said, "Sir, it says Play Money right here." <laughs> well, give it back. I cannot give that back now. I have to actually send this in. Uh, I'm not allowed to give this back to you. Well, he paid me in that. Give it back. I'm an, I'm an American citizen. I'm going to call the police. Okay. Go, go ahead and call the cops and tell them that I wouldn't take your fake $100 bill. <laughs> see <laughs> see how well that works out for you. Yeah. What if it turns out he is an illegal immigrant? Uh-huh. And, I mean, his money's fake. Maybe everything else he said was a lie. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Did you check the serial numbers? Oh, yeah, I checked them. <laughs> okay, they they were on there? Yeah. yeah. Did they match? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, the fuck, dude, you got to take that. I actually had to show him a $100 bill that didn't say play money on the mm-hmm. front of it and show him the difference of what was real Impressive. and fake. Yeah, but, dude, this guy pays his taxes. Oh, he about blew his fucking SpongeBob cap off. <laughs> you, he was so pissed. You have to give him change for that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. got to give him four fake 20s. <laughs> and four fake fives, I believe. I just think, I think that's the rule. Yep. What if we just had Monopoly money back 100%, there? Yep. And it's just two small little green tens. Here you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Have a good day, sir. Don't go to jail. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> Marvin Gardens. <laughs> or you could give him the real fake money, which is Canadian currency. <laughs> and then a little bit of sad news. Uh, the Derby winner, Medina Spirit. Kentucky Derby winner Medina uh-huh. Spirit died after a workout. Uh. All I got to say is me too, horse. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah. Hashtag me too. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, well, that sounds like a great week. Um, he didn't say he was done. Or are you done? Actually, I'm done. Okay. Um, I oh, had, actually am not. Oh. Because uh, uh, I got to do some radio. Oh, that's right. Uh, last week also. Ham? Yeah. Yeah, uh, ham radio, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I ate, I ate ham on the radio. That was the whole show, just me eating ham nice. and uh-huh. describing about how delicious it was. Was, yeah. was it the, the old cartoon style on the fucking bone, just eating it right off of there? Yeah, yeah. well, it was everything, cold cuts. I was yeah. like the Forrest Gump of ham. Oh, sure. Yeah. You can tell the difference between honey-baked and black forest. Oh, absolutely. Fuck yeah. yeah. You call this maple glaze? Give me a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to tell you say that on the radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, XM. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, but I was on the local radio, 
Uh, we were. It was me and Felix Johnson. Uh huh. I saw Felix at the contest. Yep. yep. Uh, we did some sports radio and had a blast. Uh, crack some jokes, just like we kind of do here. Yep. And it was kind of flattering there. The next uh, couple, after a couple days, his boss called and offered me uh, offered me a job, but I uh, turned it down because I didn't want to sell radio advertising. Really. Yeah. But how I had nice a, was it to do a show without Scotty? I really contemplated on seeing if Felix was good at hosting a podcast. <laughs> it's funny that you ask that question because that rolls right into my week. Because Derek did not get to do that show without Scotty. Yeah, Scotty called in. I called in. <laughs> and I called him a dumb bastard on the radio, too. They said, uh, Scotty, Scotty called in and wanted to know uh, what our opinion was about if, it's, uh, if you can't hate Tom Brady anymore. Yeah. And then we get done with answering the question, and Scotty's hung up the phone, and I go... You know who's really easy to hate? And he goes, who? And I said, Scotty. <laughs> so you knew it was him. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I told. Okay. I, I said. I said early because he couldn't. He didn't. Uh, he, he didn't know who I was whenever I initially started talking. And so I said, I've I've been you know best friends with Derek for a really long time. Uh, and I didn't know we were best friends. Okay, I've been friend. I've been acquaintances of Derek for a very long time. Is that better? That's, That's still strong. Seems strong. <laughs> yeah. That is. You've known uh, Derek I've, for a very long time. I, I've known Derek for a very long time. Lord Derek. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, sir. I've, sir Derek. Sir Derek. Okay, I can go with that. I've known Sir Derek for a very long time, and uh, we've been in a fantasy football league. It's been great for like over 10 years, and uh, I just, I, and I bought myself a trophy, and he hates that. Something like that is what I initially said. And uh, they proceeded to talk about it after I had gotten off the phone and they obviously made fun of me because he bought his own belt with the money. And, uh, Felix, yeah, that's why Felix called me an idiot. So mm -hmm. because of that, well, there you go. So folks. Just you, proof Felix. positive. There's not a good time. Scotty German can't ruin. That's right. <laughs> I made sure of it and I did. And I turned it down to be here with you tonight, Jeremy. Yeah. yeah just, thank so. you. Thanks. J Jeremy's. Thanks. Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I got to uh, so culturally appropriate me. Uh, so that happened. You got to wear a headdress now. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, but then I, I, so I got, I got off the phone with uh, Derek. I had that. I wanted to send a, a really big thank you to a lot of people. Uh, we got tons and tons and tons of messages of people that said we were their number one podcast that they listened to, uh, last year. We were the number one that they listened to. We got tons of messages on Spotify saying, you know, everybody, this was their number one podcast. So thank you to all you listeners. I sincerely do appreciate that. You guys can we all branch out. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> do you know how much good content there is out there? Wow. It's the fact that you keep it to us, that's too much. That's You don't have to. You don't. Because I've, I've heard most of your comments. And, hey, y'all, wouldn't it be funny if you could fart out of your dick? <laughs> you know, it's... That's that's uh, that's who these folks are. There, there are. There's a podcast where I just do nothing but eat ham. It would oh, be so much better. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you even tell them what kind it is, or do they have to guess by the sound of your chewing? You got it. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. But uh, to wrap up my week, uh, it it was it was the day to where I got to go see Joe Rogan live, and it was <laughs> fucking awesome. Sure. It was absolutely a great show. I was probably the best sleep. See you. Huh? Probably the best sleep you ever got. Uh no. Uh I now granted I will say this, my wife didn't enjoy it as much because his humor I think is non existent. No, shut up. I, I think it's actually a lot it, it's a lot dirtier than what she, I think she was expecting. Like she has never really paid attention to a special when I'm watching it. So I don't think that she enjoyed it as much as say Jeremy, I think you would have probably enjoyed it. Um, I think your wife just has a good sense of humor. No, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But you know who I was extremely impressed with was the gentleman that went before him as well, which was Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, yeah, he he actually does kind of make me laugh. He is a very dark. He's a lot like I was. I heard a compare a comparison with him and Jesselnick actually. Uh, only he's more not dry. I don't think he, that's the. Yeah, um, he goes a little more out of his way to kind of have more personality. Yeah. He doesn't have the whole I don't give a fuck attitude. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about you attitude that I have. Yeah. Um, You'd like him, Jeremy. He by, shit all over Asian people. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was in the news, and apparently it was blown way out of fucking proportion by the media. I guess they uh, the guy that was on in front of him was 
um, like somewhat of an acquaintance, and they do that. They like talk shit on each oh, other. Oh, Asians love to shit on. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so do short white leprechauns as well. Uh huh. Yeah, that, that's no, me. I mean literally. Oh, okay. And yeah, you probably do too. But uh, being comedians, I wanted to talk about this because this was the very first concert or concert. A show, comedy show, whatever that I'd ever been to, where you, they actually take your cell phones from you as you walk in, mm, yeah. and put it in a bag that has to be opened up by a staff member in order for you. You have to go out into the hallway, and you know, then you can take an emergency, whatever the case may be. Sure. And there were people that were bitching out the ass because they were like, "I wanted to take a picture here. I wanted to take a picture there." Listen. That's not what they're trying to do, especially a, a comedian who comes out and does the same show all the way through the United States and is, I mean, you guys can obviously elaborate more on this than, than I can. That's the most annoying fucking thing in the world right. when you go to a concert and all you see is the concert mm -hmm. through everybody's fucking phone. Yeah. It's a video you're never going to live in the goddamn moment. No shit. You well, know what's better than having a photograph to remember the moment? Make some memories. Yeah. <laughs> if you're taking pictures of shit, you're not actually doing shit you enjoy. That's uh, that's not what I was talking about. That, that I, is what you're talking about. No. But it's the fact that people, they take them, and I understand why they do it. Right. He is, this is his equivalent of, of a comedy club show. He's still working the material out. He's mm -hmm. got a special that he's going to record a few months from now or whenever, yep. and he's going to release it then to the public, probably on Netflix. Probably, I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, when people get the the shit ahead of time, you know, you, you go and you post it online. Even if it's only up for a few minutes, you know, thousands of people most likely see it. Oh, with him, it's a lot more than that. Yeah. And not in a few minutes, mm -hmm. but Whatever. still. Chappelle do but, that too. But yeah, once, it goes, exactly. once it goes up on the internet, it's on the internet. There's, there's no way to completely get it off the internet. Right. And so you're, you're basically burning this guy's material before he's ready for it to be burned. And that's, yep. that is his intellectual property and you don't have the right to do that. Yeah. Um, uh, so there was that, there was also no merchandise. So you couldn't buy a Joe Rogan shirt, which I was kind of bummed out. What about, about. a yo-yo? Did he have any yo-yos? No. They're called Jojo's. 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 Yeah. Yeah. There were bikes there though. No, I'm kidding. Um, that's, that's the girl. wrong guy. Yeah. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say was, uh, there was some, some fan actually, or group of fans that were sitting right on the front row also ruined a joke for him. And it was uh, a couple of guys and you guys can elaborate on this as well. Now, granted, I don't know if you guys have ever performed in, in big enough shows to where some people are actually bringing fucking signs to try to stand out or screaming at you and saying, Hey, it's my birthday. Like you have Wichita's king of comedy here. Of course he has. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but that's exactly what they did. They were on the front row. They bought a big fucking sign trying to get his attention and they did, they got his attention. But in hindsight, he was reading their sign and lost all train of thought and, and didn't end up following through with the joke because it, it fucked him up. Well, the good news is it probably wasn't very funny anyway. It was funny. How do you know? Uh, I kind of knew the premise. It was good. Yeah, but the punchline is the part that's the funny part, yeah. not the premise. Yeah. It was it was gonna be good. I had a feeling it was good. Good material. Joe um, Rogan should be at a level to where that should not throw him off. I don't think it threw him off. I think he was just really irritated with it. Okay. Well he didn't have to read it if he didn't yeah. want to. That's uh, be it was, easy it was fix. Honry. It was like it was like I got an extra four blunts for you, Joe, and it was just like, really? Come the fuck on. I mean, it's more or less the people that are screaming out. I mean, some people talk <laughs> about hecklers, but people that are just like, hey, it's my birthday. Single me yeah. out kind of shit because that happened too. This this is what happens, I've noticed, with a lot of uh, bro -y type comics when they get too big. Mm. You get a lot more. And, and you know, as much as we like him, Burt Kreischer is kind of this way. Totally. Uh, oh, they can Cigar pollen. probably get yes, where you get a lot more woo instead of, laughs yeah. and it shouldn't be that way steve martin's uh biggest album wild and crazy guy the second side of it he did like in the round in front of a big arena the first half of it is in a comedy club like mm. where you can hear people's like the ice in their glasses clinking and shit and it's yeah, yeah quiet yeah. and it's it's how comedy should be done the second half is just people yelling shit out from the crowd and it's so fucking obnoxious yeah yeah that was kreischer when i saw kreischer all you heard and it was a it was in a comedy club i didn't mm -hmm. see him in a theater or anything it was right. a, it was at the improv and i just hear machine yeah machine yeah. he's like 
I'm, I'll do the story. I got a couple of things I'm going to tell. I'm going to do this thing that I do every show. And then don't worry, I'm going to do the machine bit. Like just He seems like the too, too nice of a guy. To me, at, one, at some point, when you do as many shows as he does, yeah. I mean, like if it was one show, I could see putting up with it. But after a while, you just go, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> get the fuck out. I know you paid a lot of money, probably came a long way to see me, but get the fuck out. You're fucking it up for everybody else. That'd be like Chappelle with somebody going, Rick James. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, but no, the, other than that, the show was great. Um, I had a great too time. Much time talking to Joe Rogan. No, no, we we can spend all fucking podcast talking about it. But no, and you also, know what? why don't you do that? Sure. We'll go talk ham. Go, yeah, that's right. Um, we moved on from horse talk. Mm, now it's ham chat. Right? Have you ever had horse ham? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. nice, nice, good smoked horse hocks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but last but not least, before we get on, we get on to Jeremy. Uh, I wanted to announce that our uh, Twitter page is now up and running, uh, which is uh, Sidelinerspod Pod at Sidelinerspod Pod on Twitter. I'm uploading videos that uh, TikTok will not allow us to put up there because they're starting to become a little bit bunches of douches. So you will get the full experience or at least uh, a little bit more of the, uh, I don't know, X-rated content that we normally yeah. can't put on yeah, TikTok. Yeah, Twitter's real tolerant about putting up with shit. At least until, you know, until you get uh, enough And by so. the way, I can't hate that name anymore. Twitter? No. Sideliner? Sideliner's pod. I hate people who call podcasts pods. Nah, get fucked. Why are you going in such a fucking hurry? You can't say cast. Nah, that's probably because it was taken or something, so I don't know. Yeah, I think by us. <laughs> no. You could have just fucking trailered onto that. Nah, I, I, so. I listened to this on my air casts. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, but anyways, uh, how was your week there, Jeremy Joseph? Um, Fine. Cool. Moving on? Yep. No, stop uh, it. No. Woo! <laughs> just kidding i uh i hung christmas lights outside uh, yeah for like the third weekend in a row no oh no these are the ones that i put up outside mm. outdoor gotcha i uh boy there's nothing i love more than getting on a rickety fucking 24 <laughs> foot extension ladder uh by myself nobody to hold it there's you know how hard it is to find level ground outside Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. in two different spots that a, a ladder will comfortably rest on. Sure. And boy, does that look way higher from up there than it does from on the ground. Well, yeah. God, that sucked. That's called and heights, Jim. Yes, I know that, Scotty. Okay. I don't know. Just you think sure. I don't know what fucking heights are? Yeah. You don't. You're five foot four. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Anyway, go ahead. In heels. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um. So I got to do that all fucking day on Saturday, and uh, but they're up. They look nice. Well, okay. There you go. Are they colored or are they are they uh, just the white ones? Uh, have you seen my neighborhood? They're whites only, Scotty. <laughs> they don't. It's against the fucking homeowners association contract. They say no colors allowed oh, at Christmas on. time or any other oh. is what they say. No, I was, and I feel that that's. You know, what about during 4th of July? Get the red, white, and blue? No colors, they say. <laughs> okay. Whites only. <laughs> okay. Now they're the uh, the icicle lights. Oh, okay. Those are white. They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Early even. We can't fucking put anything past you, Scotty, can we? <laughs> Got to be a regular Scooby-Doo to figure that out. Ruby, uh, Ruby. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Boo. Can we Where's go? the boo? Can, can we just go? <laughs> yeah, just go. All right. No, I mean, finish your week. I'm sorry. Um, I'm having too much fun over here. I didn't go see Joe Rogan, thank God. Mm. Um, yeah, me either. I had the good taste not to call into a radio show <laughs> and uh, had some ham. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, let's see, then uh, Sunday went out to what might have been the worst breakfast experience of my entire life. Oh. I don't, I don't want to give the name of the restaurant. There's a few of them around town. This first time we'd been to this particular one, uh, all the others that we've always had really good experiences with. What's it rhyme with? Uh, Timmy's leg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Waffle House. Uh huh. That's, what That's it is. right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. There, it was not very crowded. Yet it still took fifteen minutes to get us seated. No. Oh. Uh, once we got seated, it took another 15 minutes to take our order. Um, it took another 10 minutes for them to get back with our coffee, then another 15 to get back with our silverware. Uh, all in all, we were there for an hour and 20 minutes Holy to shit. have an omelet and a skillet. 
Wow. Yeah. So, uh, and, and uh, yeah, when they brought us our silverware, because we needed the fucking spoons to stir our coffee with, mm-hmm. um, filthy. Oh, no. Absolutely fucking filthy. Yeah. And so, uh, at least just the spoons, the only things we actually needed. The forks and knives were fine. And so then after that, we went to a early showing of uh, Ghostbusters. Ooh. Yeah. It's good. The new one or the old Holy one? shit. He it's said, good. said it. Hmm? He it's said good. it was good. Wow. It's not great. Oh. It's good. Okay. Oh, you, I've got to see this. It's got to be fantastic. It's got to be excellent. If you look at the original one, we thought it was great when it came out. I was seven when it came out. <laughs> of right. course, I thought so. If you go back and look at it now, it was good. It wasn't great. Okay. Um, but it was way better than that fucking Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig piece of shit that they <laughs> put out a few <laughs> well, years ago. Duh. Um, they don't even acknowledge that any of that happened. I'm sure they I don't. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so, um, also, I would like to take this opportunity as a quick reminder to those who either have forgotten or maybe weren't listening at the time to remind people that I, uh, due to previous uh, controversies, um, I do not accept listener friend requests on <laughs> Facebook. Me neither. Uh, I probably got 25 wow. this week. So, hmm. Sorry, a, it's not, it's nothing personal. I'm sure you're great people, but it's caused more problems than it's helped in the past, and so um, I just don't do it. Yep, Ed, same. So, so all three of us, unfortunately. We like you. It's just, uh, you know, whatever. Mm. Uh, but anyways, we got a lot of sports to get, o- get on to. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to talk about our great and powerful sponsor. You know what that is, Jeremy? I don't. That is, what is it this week? It is the... It's always uh, something different. It's the Wizards, man. Washington the Washington Wizards? Wizards? No, the Wizards who make excellent products that help you keep your balls clean. Derek's a wizard. He is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ham grease. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice what the toner and, is. It's nice and shiny. <laughs> <made out of>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, manscaped.com. Like a little, 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 little pork for your pork. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, I dropped my pen all over the fucking floor. <laughs> Every fucking what couple am I of weeks. do now? God damn it. I don't know. Uh, but Manscaped.com Manscaped. uh, make excellent products to help you uh, keep the downstairs nice and trimmed, nice and uh, presentable. Let's. I'm going to go with that. I'm always needing to keep my downstairs dry. You know that. Yes. Uh, but uh, one of uh, the excellent products that they make uh, that I've been using more often is the, is the uh, ball deodorant. Okay. Um, it's it's now the time of year whenever it's starting to get cold, so my wife uh, tends to sleep with extremely heavy and heated blankets because she's always fucking cold, which means that I am going to get fucking hot because I'm under all that shit. Mm-hmm. And your nuts sweat a lot. And so if you wake up How in do the you morning, know how much my nuts sweat? I'm just saying my nuts sweat a lot. Okay. Using the Do you de- keep a moisture gauge by his ball, Scotty? <laughs> Fuck, creep me out over here, <laughs> oh, man. Shit. The precipitation on mine is a little embarrassing. Disgusting. But, he can barely eat his ham. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but with the ball deodorant, it helps a lot. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stink as much. Okay. Or at all, for Great. that matter. And, uh, and not only that, uh, lawnmower 3.0, or f- sorry, 4.0. 4.0, 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. sorry, my 4.0. I'm holding out for the 9. Yeah, keep holding out. <laughs> uh, but helps with that particular issue as well. Keeps Told it you. nice and nice nine, area down. 9.0 Lip- is like a Roomba. Yeah. Now, okay, tell me the difference. Tell me again. What's the difference between the 4.0, 3.0? What's, what's this 4.0 got? The 4.0 has yeah. an adjustable LED light. That's right. Right. Yeah. You can turn it down. A lot of people don't know this, but it was a 3.0 is what they used for the, the arc scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. With the big bright light that came out yeah. and melted everybody's face. <laughs> that's what that was. And oh. that's why. Wow. And that's why they had to switch it. They yeah. found that. Turns out that's a real design flaw. Right. When it will. They, they started off, they just wanted it to melt the ball hair off of you. Right. And now... <laughs> now they're like, now nah, maybe we should shave it better and turn that light down. And that's right. why they came up with the deodorant, because burnt hair stinks. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Uh, but not only that, uh, it is. A, it has a, its own dock, so it's a wireless uh, charging dock. that You, you mean its actually, own docker? Or? No, just dock. Oh. Like dock a boat. Okay. Do, dock a, dock a, yeah, docking. Dock. You know, we talk about this on the show quite often. Right. Yeah. 
Uh, but then they You're have doing uh, terrific. By the thanks, way. man. Interchangeable ceramic blades as well, and that's very important. That's why the, your beard trimmers. Uh, if you try to use those things, you go down there. It's you're going to get cut up. Yes, you will. You that, really will. That thing will clean you from shitter to critter. That is I mean, true. It will. It will. True. Nut to butt, hold a pole, bush to tush. Crank to stank. There it is. Crank to stank. That's got to be a new T-shirt. Uh, but my favorite product that they make is the uh, Weed Whacker. That gets rid of all your nose hairs. Uh, that's my favorite pot product. I also have the Ball Toner. They've got tons of products over at manscaped.com. Do us a favor. Go to manscaped.com. Any of the pr- items that you decide to purchase, uh, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That'll help you out, help us out, and lets them know that we're doing the commercials word for word. I got one more. Okay. From nature's pocket to nature's rocket. <laughs> yeah. And, and I just want to be sure and decode for everybody here. While we do promote from hole to pole, we do not promote ass to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Totally Scotty, about Scotty's that. all about it. No. <laughs> no. I figured. No, nah, never mind. It needs uh, a cleaning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But check them out. Manscaped. Yeah, you got to spritz that toner in there yeah. first. Dot com. Anyways. All right, moving on. We got a lot of sports to get to. A lot of shit happened over the last uh, last week. First thing I'm gonna, we're going to get to is uh, Major Leagues, uh, Major League Baseball. Yeah, soccer. Major League Soccer. Let's get to that. They okay. Kicked, they kicked that ball again? Sure did. I'll be damned. All right, moving on. Whole length of the field. Uh, no, Major League. The ball still got dots on it? No. Oh. Game still tied at zero? Maybe. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Major League Baseball is going to have a lockout. Um, it, it's already had a lockout. Well, yeah, they, they've. Pretty much already said that they're yeah it's it's gonna happen. No, it's happened. Oh, it's it's happening. It's Sorry. done. <laughs> Whatever. See, this is why I don't know shit about this. Derek knows everything about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I what's do. going on? What what is the whole deal? We obviously talked about it last week. A lot of players were trying to get signed because this was an, something that was Im, it was imminent. This was going to happen. That's why a lot of those big free agents signed so fast. Mm-hmm. If you looked at a lot of the last few off seasons, some of these guys haven't signed and they, they've. The owners have been waiting, and the GMs have been waiting, hoping that their price tag is going to go down, so they're taking less money. And you got guys like Darvish that weren't signed until like February. Bryce Harper was signed to his big deal in March. So these guys just the players are kind of over it. They're tired of tanking. Uh, the players want uh, the things that the owners won't concede on, are the things that are probably pretty important to the players. The owners said they will not concede on any manipulation of service time. So okay. if, you, if you spend the first two weeks in the minors and then you get called up, that doesn't count as a year of your service time. Your service time doesn't start till the next year. Uh, the last big player that was pissed about that was Chris Bryant, who filed a grievance and got nowhere with it. Hmm. So that's one of the things. Uh, the second thing is the raising of the luxury tax. Right now the luxury tax, I believe, is at $240 million, I think. Okay. Uh, meaning that if you go over 240, it's not a salary cap, but if you go over 240, you pay like a 10 or 15 percent penalty. The, I can't remember the exact percentage, but the, you pay like a 10 percent penalty. The organization and that gets distributed does, through to the other teams in the league, right? That part I'm not sure of. Okay, but, uh, but if the, you go over a second year, then it's like 20 percent, and then it's like or 30 percent, and then it's 50 percent if you go over a third year. That's a lot of ham. So it's essentially essentially a salary cap. Okay, so but the, the organization it, pays pays yes, the fine. Okay, yeah, I, like if not the, the individual player. No, the okay. organization right. does. It's meant as a means to like keep the Yankees from buying every good player, which it they doesn't seem to stop them. Which matter. since that's happened, I mean they really haven't right. been able to buy their World Series anymore. No, um, but the other thing on this on that side is is what they've been doing to because it's it's basically your annual value. Right. Right. Okay. So if you sign a six year, thirty million dollar contract, okay, that's five million dollars a year. If you sign a nine year, thirty million dollar contract, well now you only you're only counting a little over three million to that. So people are getting more years at a high, high exorbitant amount. Mm. So that's why these guys are signing ten year, eleven year deals. Okay. Because the longer that they're signed for, that can bring down their their average annual value, which helps for luxury tax. Okay. The owners will not concede on that either. Okay. So it's kind of a shit deal for the players. The reason the owners lock them out is because the last time that there was a situation kind of like this was in 1994 when mm-hmm. we had the strike. Yep. Uh, the owners did not lock them out, so the players kind of had all the power, and they decided to strike in August, where at that point in time, 
uh, they had all the cards because of playoff baseball, so ratings and all that. So that's when they decided they were going to strike. Now it's kind of the cards are in the owner's hands. So yeah. the free agents cannot sign now. Yeah. Not until the lockout's over. Right. So they, there's got to be some kind of middle ground. I hope so. I'm, I'm sure they'll get to it before February. I was getting ready to say. I hope so. Do, and if this obviously doesn't, then that means we won't have a, a season or we'll have a part of a season or something like right. that, which it's not as fun. If you guys remember the COVID season, it wasn't near as fun. Oh, I loved it. I mean, I was <laughs> glad we had baseball, but other than that, half of a season, the Dodgers won. Fuck. I like the piped-in noise. Yeah, no. No, I'm not all for that See, at all. See, and, and this contract shit, this gets very tricky, and I know this from back when I used to manage bands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Uh, you know, uh, back High school bands. Right. No, I, I've managed some big-time recording Band Halen? I've, Sticks? No, Scotty. Damn. Bigger than that. You ever hear of a little band called the Stillborn Lollipop? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have oh, not. I managed Jeremy. them for almost four hours once. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Yeah, um, the Passive Maniacs. <laughs> The oh, half ass killers, so, the half yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of a country western calypso type music. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> oh, they're really good. Well, all right. Well, anyway, tortoise Tia, yeah. Uh, that's baseball. Hopefully, they can figure out the end uh, the end of that whole ordeal, so we can have a full season. But now we're moving on to college football. A lot happened on Saturday, everybody. Uh, it was not uh, not a fun time for me in particular. Um, good everything that that's because you went and saw that, joe rogan that makes me very happy shut up both of you um <laughs> no that's not the yeah. that push. <laughs> <laughs> damn it <laughs> fuck uh but no everything that i wanted to happen i wanted bama to get beat by georgia i wanted oklahoma state to uh beat baylor so that way it was gonna be bama out of the college football playoff get them the fuck away from a national championship didn't happen i did not see that coming oh, i didn't either I didn't either. So now that's what the blind porn star said. Right. <laughs> Boom. Give Where's him a rim, rim shot, shot for that. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> uh, anyways, so now you got Bama as the number one team, Michigan number two, Georgia number three, and Cincinnati number four. But Cincinnati got in. So I'm glad that they did. They yep. earned the right to go. But now they get to play Alabama and get their shit pushed in, which is not going to be fun to watch. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping for a miracle. I hope they ended up they end up winning. I'll be pumped. They might pull a Boise State. Who knows? They might. Um, oh, Statue of Liberty play. That's and right. And by that, I mean they're going to paint their field blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not going to win this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance in hell. Uh, but the other thing is, is that we were, we've I've talked about this, I think, off air. I really wish that they would take advantage of this long, drawn-out wait that we have now. So it's like, I want to say this is like three weeks before this the, the playoffs actually mm-hmm. start. I wish they would take on a 16 playoff. Because the big thing that they really don't want to do is have too many additional weeks for these star teams mm-hmm. because then the players the players the, some of them can actually sign and go to the draft and then they don't even play right. in the bowl game so that's another thing that you don't want to have too many weeks so another, my, another thing you don't want to have too many of fucking bowl games yeah, yeah. jesus yeah. christ they got like the fucking suicide hotline cte bowl yep. and all this Fri- fucking bullshit Frig- refrigerator magnet bowl yeah. i mean you, you got to get get past those but in all seriousness if you had those two other spots uh, I would like to have a little bit more of the the competition side. Do kind of what the NFL used to do, which give your two num- number your number one and number two team, and give them buys and let two play and then go into. You it. mean I, bisexuals? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give them, give them two buys. Let them hang out with Fair the enough. team for a week. Absolutely, that'll bring them down a peg. That's right. And then <laughs> peg really. Yep. Awesome. And then have a, the other two teams play, and then all of a sudden you're down to four and then two. I think that that's legitimate, and I think that's reasonable for a lot of these teams that you're having these arguments of Cincinnati and arguments of Notre Dame, which in my personal opinion, that was the team that I was really going for was Notre Dame. Kelly ended up fucking bailing, and if you saw the video of these kids, they announced the new head coach for Notre Dame Mm -hmm. and you can tell that was a player's head coach. The entire team went fucking bananas, gave him a huge hug after they announced it was a good thing. Offensive coordinator. I I believe so. One of the, one of the other offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, Marcus Freeman. Hmm? Is it Marcus Freeman? Is that you're talking about? I think I'm not former Bears linebacker. I'm not 100 percent sure, so don't quote me on that. But it was cool to see that the players were really, really excited and pumped. 
And I think that they would go further in the playoff than Cincinnati will. He was a good guy. Yeah, I met him once backstage when I was managing fish kebab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Uh, but here, <laughs> great. Uh, but we'll see how that un, un, uh, unravels, and hopefully Bama doesn't uh, win. But I did want to talk about <laughs> fish kebabs. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Derailed. Uh, anyways, um, I did want to talk about this. This is not anything college football playoff related, but there was a kind of a controversial play that happened uh, in a Pittsburgh game, mm-hmm. um, and the quarterback Kenny Pickett uh, was rushing. He's the quarterback, starting quarterback for Pittsburgh, and he did a fake slide. So he was running, gained the first down, and Mm -hmm. then kind of started to get low like he was getting ready to drop and slide. So what ended up then happening is the defensive players recognized that and started to hold up, and then he ended up actually running and and getting even more yards. Right. Should that be a flag or should that be something? Because now that just means there's more of a reason for somebody to tackle the ever-living shit out of you. I don't know about a flag, but... I think where you you start to go down should be where you're down. Where you start to give yourself up. Yeah, and, which is supposed to be the rule. <clears throat> yeah, and, because and you're supposed to either commit to it or you don't go down. You either take the hit or you, you slide. Okay. That's supposed to be the rule, and I think the referees probably could have gone back, looked at that, and probably overruled that. Okay. I'm be- I'm good with that. I'm, I'm, I'm better with that than, I guess, maybe a penalty. I think you're, you're right. I just, uh, man, they're going to light him up if he tries to do that shit ever again. Oh, in yeah. All, in all seriousness. Yes, and that's that's the whole reason for that rule. Right. Uh, and but, any player, I believe, can actually do that. Uh, I Maybe. You, I, you can always yeah, just throw yourself on the ground and give yourself You up. take a knee in college yeah. football, you're down. Yeah. One knee, it's down. So, yeah, anybody can do that. I think that's what they should do is cut off one of his knees. Right. I, no, that I, should be the penalty. Not and arguing. 15 yards. Not arguing at right. all. I think that's great. Fair enough. Uh, moving on from college football, we had uh, some crazy shit in the NFL um, that happened. Uh, first thing, not necessarily uh, the games related, but uh, apparently some kid in the high school basketball team uh, dialed uh, the wrong number for a FaceTime, ended up FaceTiming Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Huh. I can't the, hate that guy anymore. Just, okay, wait a minute. Uh-huh. The whole Buccaneers? Yeah, or? like they were FaceTiming Tom Brady. Other players would come in and say hi and all this other shit. Yeah, I'm just talking to these kids, this high school basketball team. Okay. I Hello? can't I can't hate the fucker anymore. I bet they saved the number. You got yeah. damn right you did. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that was Brady's first move was to go get a new fucking phone number. <laughs> no shit. But Which still. has to be a pain in the ass for him because you know there's a lot, of, lot more important people yeah. with his number. Yeah, he's now sharing contacts to all of these other, like, you know, the managers and shit of the Buccaneers. Hey, this is my new fucking phone. Or he said, hey, if you don't give my number to anybody and you stop calling, I'll let you see Giselle's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll FaceTime that shit. By the way, I managed Giselle's pussy back in 94 <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Very good. So what do you think? Uh, is what I'm saying valid as far as I I personally cannot hate Tom Brady anymore? It's I'd, over. It's gone. I'd, wasn't able to hate him years ago. I yeah, mean, it's true. He's the fucking best of all time. He is the greatest Court, of all time. Yeah, I mean, no, we've never seen anybody do what he's done. No. I don't know if we'll ever see anybody do what he's done. I, I mean, yeah, I'm with we're you lucky to have been able to to see this. Somebody has been to the Super Bowl in half of half of, half the years he's been in the league. I think something like he's that. He's been yeah. in the Super Bowl half, and he's won seven. Yeah. That's fucking incredible. So I don't know how you. I mean, it's an, you can get annoyed that he wins all the time. Yeah, but I don't know how you can hate the guy. I, I think I think it's more like the Yankees kind of a thing. That, that was kind of what. No, like, I can hate the Yankees no, just fine. No, no, no. Yeah. What, I, what I'm saying the compare the comparison with whenever Brady was on at Tampa Bay under Belichick and Belichick. You Belichick, mean New England? What did I say? Did I say Tampa, Tampa Bay? I yeah. meant I meant New England. I apologize. But but that was kind of what they turned into. They were the dynasty. They were the New York Yankees of yes. the NFL, and that's why everybody hated them. Now that he's in Tampa Bay. Well, and he cheated a few times. And he cheated a few times. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking prick. But now that he's in Tampa Bay, Bruce Arians, I really don't have anything bad to say about Arians either. But you're They're kinda, trying to get them in Jeremy's neighborhood. 
Yeah. Said, nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a contract that says they can't. <laughs> and and here's the other thing about it with Brady, though. Okay, yes, he's done great. He's won a lot. He seems to be an okay guy. But you know what he doesn't do? Eat ham. No. <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking vegetarian. He eats so, salad. So fuck that guy. Kale. And and is how dare you do subway commercials, you cocksucker? <laughs> you know they've what? got some of the best black forest ham around. <laughs> Derek knows. Yeah, right. Absolutely. You know what ham eats? Mm. More ham. Damn right. right. Damn jo- right. John Ham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's uh, a great guy? Yeah. I, I, that's a guy I can't hate. Yeah. John Ham. Oh. Um Embarrassing. He should be the new mascot for our show. Just our backdrop should just be John, Hamm John Hamm's and, face. And Kevin Bacon. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Uh, we got a lot of drama going on in the AFC. As we're recording, we're watching uh, the AFC East. Two top teams battle it out. Uh, new England and uh, Buffalo in a in a wintry game, it looks like. Uh-huh. Uh, but another news in the AFC, we had the uh, Baltimore Ravens end up falling to the Pittsburgh Steelers that has a guy that probably needs to be in a wheelchair or a cane of some kind because God, Ben Roethlisberger looked great that game, and that means that the Baltimore Ravens defense looked like shit. Yep. It's it's rough to watch. Now Roethlisberger has now come out and said this is going to be his last. This, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. But, no, this is going to be his last year. He hasn't publicly announced it uh, you know, to ESPN or anything, but everybody around the league knows, okay, he's now started talking to the Steelers, saying this is, good, this is it, this is the last one, start preparing for me to not be here next year. Yeah. Big fucking surprise. But uh, what's happening to the Ravens here, man? This was, this was the number one team in the AFC last week. And you got Jackson throwing four interceptions the week before, threw one uh, against the game against Pittsburgh – I'm not as confident in the Ravens anymore. You shouldn't be confident in anybody. There, nobody is consistent this year. Uh, I don't, I don't know. There's one team out there that's consistent and that has been consistent since day one, and that's the fucking Arizona Cardinals. Well, they're not in the AFC. I know Scotty. that's the only team in the NFL. All of the rest of them, you're right. I, I just there's teams that are getting starting to get hot now and cold now, and this is one of the ones that I just don't have any confidence in, and I think that they probably will make the playoffs, uh, being. The Ravens, probably because so, that division sucks. sucks. It's exactly right. Well, you talk they're, about they're it. average, I guess. Yeah. They're you, average. You want to talk about a team that is on fire right now? Yeah, that is the Detroit Lions. You goddamn yeah. right! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love Dan Campbell. Holy I really do. Fuck. He seems all right. Yeah, he's a good dude. Good people. I'm glad he got a W. And we and said it's no. One of those things. Okay, I, I realize we're a comedy show and we'll stay on the comedy, but. The state of Michigan really needed this. Yeah. There was some awful shit that happened there this week. Yep. And so, yeah, it's kind of like when they needed it to happen, they did it. And he wore their logo on it, on his hat. That was, a, that was all that of That seems stuff. morbid. Well, he was doing that. That win was for them. He dedicated the win for them and all that stuff. I mean, just like that. What I'm if, pulling for him, you know? What if what caused that kid to snap was the Lions losing streak? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like oh and ten, <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time listening to the show. Oh god, a joke can start immediately <laughs> yeah. after an event. It, there's no fucking timetable for this. Shit. I I actually knew that kid's dad. He was actually the bass player in Vanilla <laughs> Walnuts when I managed him. <laughs> oh that's good shit oh man uh but moving on we're gonna be looking for sponsors after this (laughs) maybe (laughs) yeah if you can't take the dark humor you're not in the right spot uh but moving on pv amplifier since i'm in the music business right (laughs) (laughs) uh Congratulations to the New York or to the uh, Detroit Lions. Uh, moving on to Gardner Minshew, ended up starting for the Philadelphia Eagles and winning, looking good. Holy shit! Dressed also like uh, like uh, who was it? Goose from Top Gun. Whenever he walked into the building as well, he had like the. Was he wearing a flight suit? He's wearing a flight jacket. Did yeah. he have his head stoved in with the fucking canopy? Mm, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He had like a bomber jacket on, the aviators, and like his Fu Manchu mustache. He was just there to kick some fucking ass yeah. against the New York Jets. Yeah, that's not tough. Pew, pew. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, this one. 
No, <laughs> not that one. That's right. Yeah. Nope. That you had one. Right. That was that was the right yeah. one. But yeah, uh, he looked good against the fucking Jets. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are uh, Eagles fans are like, hey, we might want this guy to be a starting quarterback compared to Jalen Hurts. I don't think so. No. No, you crazy assholes. Absolutely not. Jalen Hurts will be a better quarterback. That would be more of a franchise quarterback. And uh, Gardner Minshew is what you would like to call a perfect backup quarterback in this particular situation. I think Gardner Minshew might find a good place with the Jets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he could probably be the starter there. Yeah, he was auditioning. That, yeah. And actually, Zach Wilson didn't look all that bad either. He really didn't. So, okay. whatever. Yeah, Zach Wilson, I think, is going to be all right in the long run. He's like barely 19 or some shit. He's young as hell. Hmm. But anyway. Okay. Uh, so congratulations to Minshew. Uh, whenever uh, Hertz comes back, you're back on the bench, buddy. All right. Uh, OBJ catches another touchdown, and he does the self-revive celebration from Call of Duty after uh, the Rams ended up beating the Jags at the end of that game. I thought that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good celebration. I like that touchdown celebration. It's a good one. Okay, good, cool. good for you. Uh, <laughs> that was it. Uh, but what that is basically, the Rams are are they back on track, or did they just beat the Jags? Beat the Jags. Yeah, yes. I agree with that too. Uh, yeah, these teams are all doing things that most teams can do. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but Except the Vikings. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's right. Uh, he's he's on the hot seat. Is he? Mm-hmm. I don't doubt he, it. He who? Uh, head coach for the uh, Minnesota oh. Vikings. Uh, I don't know if you meant Kurt Cousins or nope, nope. nope. Um, <laughs> I'd put that Dalvin Cook on the hot seat. It's his fucking fault. Right. He got hurt. Too poor guy. Uh, next one. Uh, the Seahawks upset the 49ers. It was in Seattle. 49ers without Debo. Uh, and this was technically, I believe, this was the very first game that uh, the doctors initially po- posted as whenever Russell Wilson be, will be good enough to come back. Okay, we saw we saw him struggle or seen him struggle over the last couple of weeks. His passes looked like absolute horse shit, and uh, there were times where he had good looking passes. There were others where they didn't look all that great. Um, but I still think if you were to take out of the 49ers or the Seahawks, who would win if they played again and they were at full strength, I think the San Francisco 49ers are an overall better team. They just had their number this week. You know who looked really good this game? Who? The cheerleaders, and that's it. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, did you watch any of that game, Jerry? I did. I, I was actually there. The halftime show, the uh, checkerboard queens played. <laughs> And, of course, you know I'm the road manager, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, next one, before we get to real shit or horse shit, <clears throat> the Chargers beat the ever-living shit out of the Cincinnati Bengals. Yep. Yeah. Any surprise, Derek? Yeah. Because that's, that's kind of the team that you kind of like a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of pulling for the Bengals. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I mean, the Chargers had the potential. They do. They do. They, this division should have been theirs. The yeah. The AFC West should have been theirs. Yep. Uh, I'm still not worried about the Bengals. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. So well, Chase now, has really kind of fell off. A he little bit. did. He he fell off. Uh, now T Higgins is getting He's, a lot of the the targets. Yep. And and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It's just uh, Burrow got hurt, uh, and at, at fairly early in the game, if I remember correctly, it was I think in the second quarter. I don't know what the I don't know if it was a sprain or something, but it was his pinky his pinky finger on his uh, throwing hand. That started to swell up. He tried to get it taped up. He tried to get a glove on it. He played through it, um, but you could tell he was still <laughs> he was he was still not the same. On the other hand, uh, go get him, Herbert. Light him the fuck up. Keenan Allen had two <laughs> touchdowns. They looked better on the ground. It was just an overall better game for the Los Angeles Chargers. Keenan Allen won't be there next week. Is he get hurt? COVID list. Oh, that's too bad. But uh, it's his turn up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah. It's freaking I, I really was pulling for the, the Bengals as well this season, but I think I think they got one more year left before their upper tier. I think they're in the playoffs this year. I think they make the playoffs. I just don't think they go very far. I think they get beat out beat out in the first you round. You think Mixon's got another good year in him? Yeah, I think he's got one more. It's not Save. a team I would want to play in the playoffs. No, they could easily bite you in the ass. Not by yourself. Right. Uh, not even with you, Jeremy. Yeah, hell no. You know who? Uh, who what team? I would I'm, like to eat a ham while watching. It. <laughs> you know, there's a team that I'm still not 100 percent confident in, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs. Still, yeah, yeah, you, you shouldn't Jeremy? be. 
No, well, nobody should be. But now uh, they have a, a possibility or an opportunity to end up being the number one seed in the AFC because the AFC is fucking just... They're fucking bananas. It's crazy. It's the AFC predominantly. The NFC has a little bit more separation, but I think from first place to... I want to say it's like 12th place, I want to say, is two and a half games. There is still... The there Miami teams with Dolphins. losing records that are... Fucking still in this. Miami Dolphins are actually probably the hottest team in football right now. One Five in a row? One of them, yes. And, I mean, it's... But there is just absolutely zero consistency. Now, the Chiefs, I will have to say... Now, granted, they haven't been playing the best offensive teams, but their defense is showing up all of a sudden. Correct. They've get they're got a lot of their key pieces healthy. Yep. They're getting some pressure on the quarterbacks now. Bringing Ingram um, in helped. Very much. I'm going to say... Eight hundred and seventy percent, roughly. But yeah, just if you can put some pressure on the quarterback, because they were getting all fucking day to yep. throw yep. earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. I still, they could lose at any time, though. I agree. Or they could win out the season. Who knows? Yeah. Who fucking knows? The uh, the thing is, is that I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't see myself saying at the beginning of the season. Around this time, I have more confidence in the defensive play of Kansas City than I do of the offensive play. Because I can say that right now. Can you? I'm about even. About on even? Both of them. I don't feel good about either one of them. I mean, Mahomes had another one last night. Go off Tyreek Hill's Tyree hands, Hill's hands yeah. into the fucking defender's hands. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think I've ever seen that happen to a quarterback as much mm -hmm. as I have with him this year. And I've never seen such sure-handed guys just continually letting that happen. I agree. Catch the ball or get off the fucking field, you sons of bitches. Well, perfect, because this is kind of going to segue into our real shit or horse shit All right. segment this week. Uh, this is going to be a special one. This is going to be the NFL Rule Changes Edition. These are rules that uh, somebody made up, and I kind of wanted to see our opinions, whether or not this is a good idea or bad idea, hence the name Real Shit or Horse Shit. Uh, but we're going to go with the very first one, and uh, this goes with that particular comment with Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey with the Chiefs. Um, real shit or horse shit, wide, rece uh, wide receivers should start getting charged with interception if the ball hits them in the hands, not the quarterback. Yes and no. That's some real shit or horse shit. Well, then I'm going to say horse shit because sometimes okay. you throw a bad ball mm -hmm. and – if it goes just off your fingertips and that's as far as you can reach to catch that fucking thing. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I don't know. I think it's got to be a case by case basis. That's why I say, so I'm going to say horse shit just because sometimes it's an uncatchable ball, mm -hmm. but other times it's blatantly your fucking fault. Yeah. So horse shit mm -hmm. and real shit. Cause real shit, if it's blatantly your fault, horse shit, if it, is an uncatchable ball. Yeah, I, and I, I kind of am with you on this. I think this is I think this is more horseshit than real shit. The people that legitimately drop passes, and that's there's a statistic for that. If you drop a pass and it is an interception, I think you can start uh, calling those right. But I also don't want it to be uh, it, make wide receivers or tight ends or whoever go for a pass and think that they're right at the edge of where they're and pull back and pull back. I don't want that at all. So that's why I'm going to say horse shit in this situation. What well, about you, Jeremy? I think it should be like an error in baseball. Okay. If it's something that you should have reasonably been able to get to mm -hmm. without having to necessarily dive or whatever. And it goes through your hands a, or off of your body or something like that, or off your fucking face mask, uh, like what has happened once or twice this year already, um, then, yeah, the, the thing is with this is is that that really only affects, like, fantasy football. Yeah. It doesn't affect the game at all. It's still a fucking turnover. Right. No matter what. So right. that really doesn't affect the overall outcome of the game. It, it just doesn't. stats. Stats mainly, at, but at that point too, you're like, well, the receiver misran his route, so that one's going to be on the receiver. No, I get you. Yeah, no, I get you. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit? Taunting should not only be allowed; it should be encouraged. Absolutely, it's some real shit, baby. I agree. Taunt the fuck out of them. Maybe start a fight. You don't like it? Play better. That's right. Easy enough, Jeremy. Um, I don't know about encourage, but 
It shouldn't be pussy. It shouldn't be fuck. Not like what they're doing anyway. That it's fucking ridiculous right now. It's, it's a fucking man's game. Mm-hmm. This is a rough and tumble fucking physical sport. And now you're. I mean, you you basically made a sport where guys kick the shit out of each other physically but they can't say bad words to each other. <laughs> be nice, guys. Yep. Be nice to each other while you're kicking the fuck out of each other. <laughs> that reminds me back whenever the WWE had the Attitude Era, and it oh, was fucking yeah. fantastic. It's great. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they went, like, kid-friendly. And so you got two guys that it's supposed to be believable that they're beating the shit out of each other, and the guy's like, I am going to stomp your booty into the dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we all sound like that when we're ready to mm-hmm. fight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can understand to the point where, like, the referee shouldn't have to break up fights with these fucking monsters. Mm-hmm. That That is a dangerous situation for them. But at the same time, because, I mean, if you do let it get out of hand, these guys can fly off the fucking rails. Yeah. And There's a lot of you. testosterone. They can, yeah. they can kill you. They can kill each other. I mean, it's you want to keep it somewhat out of control, but at the same time, there's a lot of emotion being poured out in there. Sure. you got to allow some stuff. All right. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. There should be no ties. Play until there is a winner. 100% real shit. You do it in the playoffs, do it in the regular season. I don't understand why college football has figured this the fuck out, and you can't. This is real shit. For decades, it was the other way around. College football had no overtime mm-hmm. whatsoever. You didn't even have – you. there were plenty of ties. Happened all the time in college football. Um, but, no, it's uh, – the fact that the NFL even allows it is fucking stupid. I get the idea that, you know, every second more that you're on the field is another chance for somebody to get hurt and there's big money involved and all that. But – how are you going to decide clear cut winners in the fucking t- who goes to the postseason when you got teams with ties on? Is there just been the one this year? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. But that still, might it, that might keep the Lions out of playoffs. That might, exactly. Fine. I mean, they're hot right now. Right. They're on a they're on a streak, one in a row. Yeah, mm-hmm. and for what it's worth, I think uh, they're. I think the only team that's been completely ruled out of the playoffs is the Houston Texans. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So. They got a shot, <laughs> you know? Uh, but no, this is, I mean, even if you're like, okay, we'll play one. Uh, well, how many minutes is it overtime in, in the NFL? I think it's five minutes. Uh, no, no, no. It's a 15 minute quarter. Is it yeah. a 15 minute quarter? quarter? Ooh. Okay. Well, even after that, do what the college football does and then go to two point conversions. You don't even have to do downs and be on whatever yard line. Just do two point conversions and see who fucking wins. Fine. I don't give a fuck what you do. Do whatever Scotty. you got to fucking do. Yes. There should be a winner. And I agree. All right. Uh, Don't next even run a clock. <clears throat> right. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. Kicks that go through the uprights on a kickoff should be worth one point. Horse shit. Really? Yeah. It takes the kick return out of the game, which is what they've been trying to do this whole fucking time. And there, to me, that's the most exciting play in football. It's also the most dangerous place in football. Well, you know what else is dangerous in football? football. Fucking football. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you signed up for it, asshole. You're yeah. back there catching the kicks. Don't just sit there and go, please, please let me kneel. Please let me kneel. Yeah. That's like the fat kid in left field saying, don't hit it to me. Don't hit it to me. Don't hit it to me. <laughs> yeah. And not only did you sign up for it, you're compensated handsomely for it. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with real shit on this, and the main reason why is because that would make this game more football instead of run and pass ball. So I'll go, uh, I'll go real shit. And I also don't like it because basically every fucking kicker can do it. I don't think they can, can they? Most kickoff specialists can, yeah. Mm, oh, okay. I did not know that. I changed my answer to uh, horse shit then. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, real shit or horse shit. Players should be down where they fall, not where they are first hit. Absolutely real shit. Really? Yes. Not where they're first hit. It's where you go down. That's not like whoever hmm. hits. If, you get, if you're in a fight and you get punched, that doesn't mean the fight's over because you got punched. It's who got knocked the fuck out. Okay. So I think it should be the same way in football. I think what they're talking about, though, is like if somebody trips over their own feet, should they be down or should they be allowed to get back up? Oh, oh. Is that what you're talking about, or are you talking about after first the, contact? No, no, down no, by no. contact rule. No, I think it says not where they are first hit. So I I think it's, this is like 
down where they fall. I so, guess, like, I whenever think the guy is, like, pushing them back and they go backward 10 yards, you're, you, the, your forward progress, does, that's not it. I see what you Go yeah. down. Yeah, I, I think yeah, he's I talking about down by contact, though. I, I, the way that I interpret this question is what Derek just said, which is where you go down, that's where you fall. So if you get somebody that is is at yeah. the at the line of scrimmage going for the one yard push, and they jump over, reach the ball across, and then get fucking just smacked back four yards after getting stopped, is he down? Four yards he's down, back. He's down four yards. <laughs> or is he he's got the first down? Yeah, but what keeps somebody from like going down like a lineman picking up a receiver by you know around the waist and just carrying his ass back to the goal line? Touchdown. Well, that, that might be more fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is one hell of a touchdown. <laughs> I mean, you get to kind of do a fat man dance with yeah. that. He, he'd spike the player at that point. I mean, the rules actually do say stopping the forward progress. Forward of the progress, runner. yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that. So yeah, I, I agree with that. But the if that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Now, I do believe if you get hit, you bounce off of them, mm-hmm. run backwards trying to get around them and yes. get tackled, you should not get your forward progress there. The, exactly. You, I, you intentionally stayed on your feet. Now, right. if they're holding you up and you're trying to go down, that's a whole different deal. Yeah, and I think that's the way the rule is now. I, I think they should keep the rule as it is in all seriousness. Uh, too much shit would have to change if you change yeah. that rule. And last one, real shit or horse shit, quarterbacks should no longer get credit for yards after the catch by a receiver. I'll go real shit on that. Receiver did all the work at that point. Yeah. I'm going to go real shit on this. We call them air yards now is is what the quarterback gets credit for is the actual yards. The ball is in the air, and you have a lot of players like, uh, like Ben Roethlisberger this season who's probably got several hundreds of yards. He throws the ball on average like six and a half yards per mm. pass. So no. Yeah, that would uh, really make it unattractive to throw a lot of screen passes and shit. Right. <laughs> there, well, those would be well, they wouldn't be. I mean, they should still count for yards, but no. Yeah. As far as passing yards for the quarterback, no, I, I do kind of agree with that. That's more just a glorified handoff yeah. at that point. Now, I, if, I agree. Now, if, 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 on the other hand, like. If you throw the ball 50 yards down the field and hit your receiver in stride when he's got to step on his Mm -hmm. defender and he goes, I mean, that took a lot for the quarterback to make that happen. Sure. And, and, and all, and being as realistic as possible with this, I think there would be too much of a discretion for that play that Jeremy was just talking about and what we were talking about Mm -hmm. earlier. I don't think you could. I don't think you legitimately could change that statistic. I like the what they've done, which is created the statistic of air yards, and that puts the actual yards in yeah. perspective. So, can, it can is I what make it is. A, can I make an addition to that? Sure. A, if a forward pass is completed behind the line of scrimmage, that should not that should be a run. Okay. If the quarterback fades back and he throws off to his his uh, running back, but it's still behind the line of scrimmage, mm-hmm. that should not be a pass. Okay. That's what Behind I'm the saying. line of scrimmage? Okay, <clears throat> yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. That, that gets rid of all the sports. All the sports are gone. Now we get to fun. You know, we get to have fun, right? You guys mm. have fun on the show. Yeah. What? Yeah, <laughs> big blast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Got any ham? No. Uh, but I will uh, later. You want to kick it up a notch. Yeah. Distinctly told you to be ham. You got one in the oven? Yeah, sure do. Got a ham in the oven. Right. But now we get to move That's on. That's what I say about pregnant women. Oh, to she's got a ham in the oven. Overrated <laughs> or underrated. We, this is where we like to take random items, say if we think they're overrated or underrated. Uh, we do actually take uh, some listener questions. So as of right now, you can go to our Instagram page, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Talking or, about the gram? The gram. Mm. Uh, or I you can now somewhere. go to Twitter and follow us on Twitter and uh, make suggestions there. And that is at uh, Sidliners Pod. Uh, do us a favor, do that. I still am somewhat on Facebook, not as much. They're starting to piss me off, too. They can twat right at us. That's right. Uh, so first one, we're going to go overrated or underrated. This is a fan's question. This is overall cap. Fan questions, overrated. No. No. Uh, oh, sorry. That, that's what we were doing. His name is Overall Kappa. Uh, that's what he goes by on his Instagram. But uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, Superman? Overrated. Okay. Why? You give him every power in the world, and everybody knows who Superman is, but a pair of fucking glasses is going to throw you off? Yep. That's stupid. <clears throat> to yep. be fair, 
those same people who didn't recognize him also mistook him for a bird and a plane. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is it? Fucking Mr. Magoo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that who's looking at him? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I, and I just, it baffles me. And who, there's not even phone booths anymore. What are you changing now? In Great Britain. The now. Verizon store? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, I got to use your bathroom real quick. Mm-hmm. Well, now, now Clark can't move to Great Britain because they still have those there. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, but that's Doctor Who's fucking transportation. He's isn't it? he's trampling on his on his uh, turf, man. Boy, it, did you guys ever watch Doctor Who? No, no. Oh, is there a weirder fucking noise that a thing could make than his goddamn telephone booth that no he idea. travels in? No idea. It's fucking weird. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go overrated. I hate superheroes, Jeremy. Um, Superman in particular is overrated just because. Yeah, he. Really? There's absolutely nothing he can't do. How it's so old rid- kryptonite. It but it's so ridiculous the things that they have to come up with so that villains can challenge him. Right. I know what have I done my my little spiel about him? Go for it. Okay. Here's my problem with Superman. <laughs> okay. He's always ripped. <laughs> oh, it's been it's been several years. Has it okay. Yeah, it's a long time ago. Superman's strength has absolutely zero to do with his muscles. He gets his strength from the radiation of our yellow sun. That gives him basically infinite strength, infinite speed. He can fly. He could shoot lasers out of his eyes, all this shit. But the whole speed and strength thing coming from the sun means that there is absolutely nothing on this planet that would serve as an adequate workout for him. (laughs) Nothing would be exercise for this man. So he wouldn't burn any calories. Right. He should look like me. <laughs> That's what Superman should look like. Maybe even worse. He's got a high metabolism. Right. Uh, even still. Yeah. How does he have a high metabolism? He ain't doing shit. He's doing the equivalent of sleeping. Some people are just <laughs> born with high metabolism, Jeremy. We weren't two of them. I guess not. <laughs> Score. There's yeah. only two people, I think, that belong in a telebooth, telephone booth, and their names are Bill and Ted. Right. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Except for that last one. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that get blown up by dynamite. Right. And death. Right. Mm-hmm. Death can go in the telephone booth. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, next one. 45-minute bass solos. Yeah. <laughs> did you manage death? I didn't. Uh, well, okay. For a while, he was in uh, Garfield's Concubine, and I managed them. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that was very briefly okay. toward the end of their career. All right. <laughs> Awesome. I heard they're going to get together for a re- reunion. reunion though, yeah. Oh, I'll be darned. It's going to be like Bill and Ted, the new movie. Nope. It's going to be <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> I can't even remember what the fuck the movie's called, but it was bad. Uh, face the music. That's I believe. what it was. Yeah. It's off all. <laughs> like, it is so much worse than anything I could have ever imagined. Oh. I knew it wouldn't be good, but it was so bad. <laughs> I liked it. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm a yes and guy, and I can't go along with that premise. That's look. We can joke about mass shootings in Detroit, but this you're crossing the fucking line. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, uh, next one. This is another fan question. This is from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know: overrated or underrated MTV's ridiculousness? Overrated. Really? Absolutely. There's a thousand fucking shows and websites with this shit on there now. All you're doing is just watching the internet on TV. Okay. I just I think it's stupid. Overrated. Yeah, this is underrated uh, to me. I, I want to see Rob Deerdick's uh, reaction and the fun little things that he does with them. And plus, whenever he can create a logo where it's somebody doing a fucking scorpion, that's success in a box right there, man. So uh, I'm going to go underrated. Yeah. yeah, but you like Joe Rogan. Shut up. I'm going overrated, too. Of course, you know I'm on the outs with MTV. Okay. Ever since they pulled all the videos from the licorice tits, <laughs> I lost a lot of money on that deal. What kind of music was licorice tits? <laughs> they were sort of a punk reggae. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? Joining the Mile High Club. Overrated. Really? Why? 
I can't fit in that bathroom stall. You want me to get somebody else in there with me? Oh, you know. I have to hold my shit till I land. <laughs> Otherwise, the person next to me is going to be really unhappy. But thankful they're wearing a mask. All right. Uh, so, so they actually have companies that you can go and do this on to where you're not shoved in a, a you know, a, whatever you want to call them, the yeah. bathroom. Latrine is Latrine. what they call Latrine, uh, thank or you. Or no, lavatory is lavatory, what they call them yes, on, on, on airplanes. airplanes. Yeah, but I'm scared of hot air balloons, so I'm not going to book that company. <laughs> okay. He doesn't mean riding on them either, just the balloons themselves. He yeah. sees one, he shits his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he loses all his hams. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, I, I'm going to go overrated just for the simple fact I'm absolutely terrified of flying. I don't think I could get it up, boys. It's just, I don't think it's going to happen. So overrated for me. Jeremy? Yeah, this is one of those things that they make sound really good, like, you know, getting chocolate syrup involved with sex. <laughs> but in practice, it's just a bad fucking idea all the way around. Yeah. Uh, airplane bathrooms don't smell good. No. And, and you're right. Also, the, the air pressure, actually, they say it makes it very difficult to get an erection up all there. All right. So um, uh, at least that was my excuse. Um, I'm scared of flying, <laughs> Jeremy. That by, wasn't by what they, I mean me. <laughs> mm. So uh, okay, yeah. All right, overrated for you then too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, rocking out in your vehicle as if you are the lead singer. Uh, come on, buddy. I'm gonna say uh, oh. underrated. Yeah, I was gonna say lead rapper. How about that? Okay, that's better. There you go. Underrated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it's fun when you get caught. Yeah, oh yeah. And you just keep going. Uh huh. And then you roll the window down because you need a backup singer. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say underrated. Jeremy's probably managed some of these guys that have ended up fucking <laughs> yeah. big. <laughs> that that's one of the things I know that I can never do it as good. You know who was the best at this? Who the the lead singer for Beetle Bailey's Revenge? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> he. You think you rock? You don't fucking rock. <laughs> this guy fucking rock. He did it behind the wheel of an 87 Ford Bronco. Two. <laughs> two? Yeah, Bronco it, two. Was it white? It wasn't. Oh, no, darn. that was a full-size Bronco. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you talking about the one that Al Calling was driving with yeah. OJ in it? Uh-huh. You know, they say Al Calling had a big crank. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He Just was, putting that out there. That, he, that is known information. That makes sense. He was the lead singer of a band called The Big Crank. No, he was actually a, he was a player on the Buffalo Bills. Oh, okay. But, uh, <laughs> he, he was OJ's friend. Okay. Um, I'm going to go no, with... I never managed The Big Crank. No. Okay. I was, I was curious. Um, I, I'm going to go with this is underrated uh, lead singer or lead rapper. Doesn't doesn't matter. Um, but I've had the situation to where you are listening to the same radio station at a stoplight with somebody else and, uh, me and that dude fucking rocked out. So yeah, underrated. Yeah. Next one. Last one. Overrated or underrated getting the semi truck. Oh, can't even talk. Uh, overrated or underrated getting the semi truck driver to honk his horn by doing the honk gesture while driving. Overrated. What are you, five? <laughs> <laughs> What's underrated, which I've not yet to do, but one day I'm going to be able to do, pull it off, is whenever you get behind the semi that's towing a semi, mm -hmm. and then I want my wife to be asleep in the passenger seat and yes. then just wake her up screaming. Yes. That is very underrated and very rare to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that There's videos of people doing it on the Internet, but, man, that is like finding a – fucking unicorn a yeah. midget riding a unicorn yeah it's oh man yeah so i'm gonna say overrated for that but the other way underrated yeah if you if you can't picture what what derek's talking about whenever they're towing that semi it looks like if you come up behind it it's facing right at you so it will scare people if they're on long tro road trips so that's the kind of the pranks that the guys in the stinky twinkies used to do <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking time. <laughs> I have it was just constant. <laughs> I, I am feeling like there's just going to be a TikTok of Jeremy's stupid fucking band names. Whatever. I mean, <sighs> hey, it's real, man. It's real. <laughs> Everything we do on this show is 100% real. Absolutely it is. <laughs> um, can I tell you a story? Yes, go for it. This, I, as a, uh, when my son was younger... I used to think it was fun to try and get him to do this to vehicles that weren't semi-trucks. 
just <laughs> cars and pickups that we would pass <laughs> and do this. And one time we were coming back from uh, Ark City, which uh, he had a junior football game down there. And uh, we, or no, we were, we were coming through Ark City. We had been in some town just south of Ark City, actually. Uh-huh. And, uh, or no, Wellington. We were coming from Ark it City, going matter. through Wellington. Trust me, this matters. Okay. Um, as we're leaving Wellington, we come behind this Cadillac full of birthday clowns. <laughs> and I'm no. not joking about this. And I told my, well, okay, I'm driving. And we're passing them because they're going like 50 on the fucking highway. And we go to pass them. And I see that it's clowns and just fucking clowns. <laughs> <laughs> and I told my son, this is the greatest day of my life, including the day he was born. <laughs> and, and I told him, do the horn thing. Do the horn thing. And I'll be goddamned if they didn't have a fucking air horn on that Cadillac. <laughs> like a loud fucking semi air horn. And That's they were happy to do it. <laughs> There were like 40 of them in it. It was the, in the days before you could get good video quality on a cell phone camera. Otherwise, because I was trying so hard. I was having my son hold my fucking phone and do it. And he, it just wouldn't come through. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, great. That, that is the first time I think I've ever yelled out, clowns! <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh, I, I'm, I am going to go overrated, though. Uh, if If... I know we have uh, we have truck drivers that listen to this show, and I'm curious. Um, give us your comment. Let us know if that annoys the shit out of you, because then I'll stop doing it if I have to. Uh, but that was overrated and underrated. Now we get to move on to our questions and preguntas segments. Uh, again, if you have any good questions, and by good questions, I mean creative ones that we've not done before. Mm-hmm. Still get those comments of ones that we did five episodes ago. So, um, you know, be original, but send us your questions at, uh, on Twitter at sidelineers pod or our Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. Uh, first question this week, uh, is going to be weird advertisement stickers found inside of a porta potty. Derek, um, <clears throat> help prevent the spread of crabs. <laughs> oh. Use a different porta potty. <laughs> oh, Wow. Um, I, I thought of a real one and mine would be dude wipes, avoid wiping with sandpaper. That's mine. Jeremy. So these don't have to be real places. Sure. They do whatever you want. All right. Gilda's pleasure palace. (laughs) (laughs) Adult book novelty store. (laughs) Okay. And arcade 24 hour. You hang out there a lot whenever you're with doing the whole band manager thing? No, because I'm too busy in the porta potties. Okay. All yeah. right. Fair enough. All right. I got locked in one by the reptilian bus boys one night. This <laughs> 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 just goes on forever. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Things not to bring into the bathtub. Derek? Clowns! <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, you don't bring in clowns to the tub. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. They may want to have a good time. <laughs> wonder how many they can fit in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, or the neighbor kid. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple. I went to uh, a bath bomb. Take a shower. Be a man. And uh, the second one, uh, things to help you make toast. Sure. Slash toaster. Got it. Yeah, we, we figured out where you're you going. There you go. Uh, Scotty's rubber dicky. <laughs> <laughs> rubber dicky. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, next one. Besides a sporting event, times where people run as fast as they can. When they find out their girlfriend's pregnant. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. See ya. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I got a real one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Black Friday. That that is the most athletic I've ever seen human beings when running after the the black. 
thing or <laughs> no. not in my neighborhood <laughs> right no whenever there's one ps5 left and it's in the back of the store that's an all-out sprint and you're pushing and shoving while you're running how about you jeremy um yeah i'm gonna say when the mcrib goes up for sale <laughs> oh yeah mm-hmm. okay that's your favorite thing, right? Fuck yeah. It's everybody's favorite thing, whether no. they know it or not. No. Uh, no, Jeremy, it's disgusting. All the guys no, in Asquatch delicious. loved it. Mm. You guys are weird as hell. I don't think you heard it. I don't think you I did. Don't care. I, I didn't. I had my headphones off. I had to. Said, uh, all the guys in Asquatch loved. <laughs> in the oh, no. That's awful. Way to fuck up my jokes. Got Sorry. It. I made you repeat it. That's my fault. Uh, next question. Announcements made over Hell's PA system. <clears throat> Attention Hellions. Due to supply chain issues, we are all out of polish. From now on, all butt plugs will be spit shine. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, of course. Of course. Uh, I have... Attention. Attention. Hitler. Clean up aisle nine. Clean up on aisle nine. Jeremy? Um, attention, residents of hell. Please meet in the convention center for a marathon of the masked singer. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by dancing with the stars. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, excellent, Jeremy. Last one. What's the first thing that Adam said to Eve? All right, look. I know we're supposed to repopulate the earth and everything, but what's going on with that hole back there? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Make daddy a sandwich. Jeremy? You going to shave that thing? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Great. Loved it, guys. And that is our questions and preguntas part of this episode. It seemed to fly by. It did because we were running a little bit long uh, there for a little while, but now I think we're catching right back Speaking up. Speaking along, have you seen my cock? Nope. It's not. Sure. Haven't. <laughs> uh, but yes, now we get to move on to the most popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines draft. How did uh, how did uh, we do last week, boys? As I've said a number of times, our listeners are idiots, and so when you get the buttons, you get to do whatever you want. Yeah, I probably won. I'm. You guessing. know what? I, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no. I don't. I don't have the buttons, and I can do whatever I want. So bye. Fine. I'm out. Uh, but no, uh, I won. I only see one belt here, so I'm guessing I won. No. No way you won. Hang I, on. I did. I won. I'm not taking your word for shit. Okay. I, and you know what? I think this this uh, vote, this vote uh, was the most accurate one because I think everybody went with me uh, for the Esteban guitar. Wait, did you? You won that one? I did. I only see one belt here. I don't think he won. I did. I, I thought Derek won. Nope, I didn't. Oh, goddamn! It was the Esteban gift of guitar, was what it was well, called. Well, yeah, and and as as well, you should have. Wow, I mean, he is maybe the world's greatest guitar player. Yeah, I know. I fucking lost a shithead. You did. You did. Damn, this must yes. be what it feels like whenever the fucking special needs kid trucks you on the football field. <sighs> there was a video you showed us before the show today of of something that we've dreamed about actually, and that was. The special needs kid going up for an open layup in a basketball game where everybody was kind of clearing the way, and somebody blocked his shit. Mm-hmm. It was great. You know, uh, by the way, Esteban actually once auditioned for Pennzoil's Pumpernickel, <laughs> and they didn't make it. No? Yeah. Oh, darn. Anyways, uh, so I won last And as you know, dra- the band is thriving strong. I'm sure it is there, Jeremy. Um, but, uh, anyways, now we get to move on to our draft. This week's draft is going to be our favorite superheroes. Is that right? Yeah. 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 I don't have any, but I'm going to play the game. Good. I'm going to play this game. Then you get squirrel girl. (laughs) (laughs) And the stinky twinkie. (laughs) 
fine. Uh, so I, uh, because uh, Jeremy took uh, last, he gets first pick. Uh, Derek took uh, second. So yeah. So Jeremy, shoot us off with uh, your favorite superhero. Is it weird that it's Robin? <laughs> <laughs> no, mine. Mine actually is and always has been Captain America. Captain America. Okay. That's uh that's a good one oh one. I'll take it. All right. Uh, Derek, you go. Deadpool. Damn it. That was the only one I was gonna be like, eh, I kinda like him. Okay. Uh well if we're gonna go with this, I'm gonna I get back to backs. Mm-hmm. So I am going to take Iron Man. Okay. And I like Hugh Jackman. I'll go with Wolverine. All right. He does a lot of musicals. I know you're a big Phantom of the Opera fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I was huge, huge, uh, huge of that. So, all right. Go, Derek. Batman. Yep. You can have him. I love Batman. Okay. Over Robin. Yeah. Over Robin. <laughs> Over Robin? Ironically enough. Uh, uh, okay. That is so weird. Yep. Uh, Jeremy, you get two, dude. I'm going to go, based on the Netflix series, I'm going Daredevil. Okay. okay. I like I like that. Yeah, That's that, that blind fucker, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no Ben Affleck? Uh, you know, I didn't hate him as much as everybody else did, but mm-hmm. I wasn't familiar with the comic book version of him, so I didn't know whether to like him or not. Who played in Batman vs. Superman? That was Ben Affleck and, yeah. and Henry Cavill. This is exactly why I hate this fucking superhero movies anyways. Go ahead. Why? Because Ben Affleck? He was Ben Affleck was Batman and Daredevil? You can't do that. That's DC and Marvel. So? It's, you're going... You're, it's like going to a different country. It's like playing football and baseball. Okay. He's the fucking Deion Sanders. Uh, of fucking <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what's your next one, Jeremy? Um, oh, shit. Who do I want next? I'm going to go with Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Mm-hmm. Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, Stan Lee's Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, go ahead, Derek. Got to go with another one of my favorites, The Incredible Hulk. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good one as well. Uh, I, I'm going to pick this guy specifically because he's got no superpowers, but he's got a fucking arsenal, and that is the Punisher. That's where I was going to go. Yeah. Another good, very good Netflix series. Uh-huh. I started to watch it and then found out it was a superhero movie or TV show and stopped. Uh, then uh, I'm also <laughs> going to go. <laughs> hey, this is really good. <laughs> you know, they also made a fucking flip book with cartoons on it. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to go with uh, a god. So I'm going to go with Thor. Okay. Yeah. All right. If nothing else for Chris Hemsworth, Jesus Christ. Yeah. That man could French kiss me if he wanted to. <laughs> I wouldn't even push off. Right. I mean, uh, I wouldn't initiate it, but if he came up to me and stuck his tongue in my mouth, I would take it. Right. Uh, Just go ahead and go, Derek. All right. Speaking of French kissing, I'm going to go with Wonder Woman. <laughs> Gal Gadot, god damn. <laughs> she is attractive. These are not the movies. These are the characters. No, I don't okay? care. I'd All still right. fuck the yeah. drawing of Wonder Woman. <laughs> it matter to me. Probably have. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, Jeremy, you get your last two. Uh, let's see here. Let me run down the fucking list. Um, Let's see. Fuck, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go with the Green Lantern because okay. <laughs> we know about his ability to get fisted. <laughs> Are you seriously taking that? Yeah, I'm taking him. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah. What What constitutes superhero, by the way? Uh, they just I, have I, to have had a comic book made about I him? I think or? comic book, special power. Some kind of uh, mutation of some sort. You know. And superhero mean, implies they have to be a good guy? Not necessarily. You can pick a bad guy if you want to. I don't want to. Okay. Well, then don't. So I'm going to go with... 
so many. There are. There's tons of them. Yeah. I'm shocked you haven't picked one yet. I'm going to go with Moon Knight. Who? Moon Knight. I don't know who that is. They're getting ready to make a movie about it. Moon Knight? Moon Knight. And that is that the one that The Rock is going to be? No, that's Black Adam. Okay. Which is weird because he's neither <laughs> Black nor Adam. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Uh, Derek, last pick, dude. I'm going to go with Spawn. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that pick. I missed one. God damn it. I should have taken. Was that it? Too late. No. Okay. This is really tough because I really don't have any any others that I can think of off the top of my head. So I'm going to go. I don't want to pick the fucking fan favorite, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to win. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's there's quite a few that I think would be you know kind of cool. Uh, I will say this: if you're if you're gonna make me watch any kind of like superhero movie, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be one of the X Men. Okay. Um, so I guess what was the guy with the fucking cards? Gambit. Gambit. That's who I'm going with. I'm going with Gambit. The Cajun. They were supposed to make a movie about him. I don't know if they did. No, they didn't. Uh, it was supposed to be Ryan Reynolds. Really? Was yeah. Okay. He would have been. He would have played a very well done or a very good. He would have done a good job in that that kind of role. But the only reason why I liked him was because of the. Uh, remember the X Men arcade game that you'd go to the bowling alley and it was the one. Where it was it Street two. Fighter with fucking X Men. Not. I mean, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Where they fight really. against each other? No. No, it was the whole story. It had it was huge. It had two screens, and it was X Men. That sounds uncanny. Yeah, it is. And That's then what an X Men joke, Scotty? You wouldn't get it. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the other one was Magneto. I was gonna go with Magneto. He's bad guy. I know he's bad guy, but I mean, if you could control metal, shit. You know. You know, there's a lot of things that don't make sense about him, like the fact he can stop bullets when magnets don't work on lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, that is our draft for this week of our favorite superheroes. Let me tell you what. There's going to be some new stuff that's going to be coming as far as how you vote. It's not going to be this week, though. I'm still going to go ahead and put um, the the draft up on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, and you can vote for your favorite uh, list of superheroes by clicking on the corresponding emoji. And uh, whoever wins the Facebook uh, poll this week and probably the next couple um, will will go off of that. But in the future, they actually do have a way to track votes and things like that on Twitter, which is kind of why I'm moving that direction. Uh, so again, if you haven't already, follow us at uh, on Twitter at Sidliners Pod, and uh, eventually we will switch over to that. So you might keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, go on Facebook, and I'm going to put it on Twitter as well just to see uh, the conversion rate and go from there. So appreciate you guys doing that. But now... Twitter does a good job of keeping track of the numbers. That's how we kept a lot of the numbers on the advertising dollars for uh, right. you know, the toxic cornmeal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so now, moving on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our sh laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Are you familiar with Honkeko? No. It was a Japanese-run coal mine in the borders of China um, where the Japanese forced uh, Chinese laborers. Most of them were uh, prisoners taken from the uh, Sino-Japanese War. Um and force them to basically work in absolute deplorable conditions. If they ever refused to go down into the shafts, they were beaten with pickaxes, um, which is never a good thing. Nobody ever said, hey, I got beaten by pickaxe. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, on uh, April 26th of 1942, the miners hit a pocket of flammable gas, which was followed soon by a spark, which sent flames shooting out of the mine shaft. Uh 
mining basically halted over the next 10 days as they cleaned the bodies out of the shaft, leaving the death total in uh, 1,549 Chinese laborers, making it the deadliest mining accident in the history of mining. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos that don't light a match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't like this one. Uh, this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is, would you rather spit shine a butt plug or listen to your parents tell you about their sex stories? Hmm. Mm-hmm. So spit shine a butt plug. Yeah, oh yeah. Used butt plug. Well, yeah, you don't spit shine new ones. They're brand new. <laughs> <laughs> or have uh, your parent, like the time Scotty's dad made his mom squirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the nickname, oof. squirt. You know, I got to go with the sex story. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have to. Yeah. I don't... Uh, don't think I could fucking touch something that's been in somebody's asshole, yeah. uh, except for that time I I do I touched your toothbrush a couple times, Scotty. But <laughs> it was in my asshole, so uh, that's okay. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the old sex stories from the parents. Yeah, it's really fucking weird. <laughs> but I'm not touching anything that's been up anybody's ass. I'm not gonna do it. I, I you've will... brushed your teeth with it before. You just no, don't know it. No. Uh, well, you know, out of out of sight, out of mind. Don't know what mama don't know won't hurt her kind of thing. You know what I mean? Well, you're gonna find out what hurt her here. In a <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I I'll, I'll go ahead and go with the sex stories from mom and dad. At least they'd talk to each other. May not find out what hurt her, but you'll find out what made her a squirter. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Rim shot there. Boom! Oh, sorry. There it is. I should be carried out on your fucking shoulders for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. God damn it. I'm the fucking king of comedy in Wichita. God damn it. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, Jeremy. Um, you know, I got... I'm actually pretty used to butt plugs being around. I uh, The tambourine player for Melancholy Soap Dish... <laughs> Used to just leave them all over the place. They were as common as like ashtrays all over his house. And uh, it was electric tambourine too. You don't find a lot of those. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm still. I think I'm going to go with the sex stories because some of them weren't clean, and you just never know what you're going to get into. I don't know how good of a job they did in the shower. Yeah. yeah, there's always residuals. Oh. I, I can bring myself to do it. I'll listen to the sex stories. <laughs> my dad's a good storyteller. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. I think my dad's a good storyteller, too. So, yeah. Nah, I've heard your dad's sex stories. They suck. <laughs> I tell you that they time you. I reached the back of your mom's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> back of her teeth? That's not that impressive, that's, to be honest. From yeah. behind it is. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of uh, the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast in the books. Do we have uh, any performances coming up from either of you, uh, the excellent stand-up comedians? Well, speaking of performances, your parents. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I do. Uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. I believe it's the 12th, uh, I will be at Barleycorns at 8 p.m. Nice. And maybe on the radio this week, too. We'll cool. see. So. Uh, if you're on the radio, uh, what station are you going to be on? KGSO uh, here in Wichita, which would be 93.9. Uh, it's from 4 to 6. It's a show called The Press Box. Yeah. Yep. So Good show. You should call in. And 1410 AM. I was going to ask what the AM station yeah, 14, was. 1410 AM radio? Yeah. AM radio. Uh, how about you down there, Jeremy? Um, I won't be performing, but come see the mildew throat polyps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're going to be basically anywhere that live music is played. <laughs> They'll surprise you. Yeah. Uh, They'll I, just show up at your house. I have Carolyn. A, I have a feeling that some some listeners of this show just found a lot of different options for band names for their the garage band they have. If for the next 10 years, I get a dollar anybody, anytime somebody names their fantasy team the Stillborn Lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> or the Stinky Twinkies. That's my team name next year, the Stinky Twinkies. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Again, follow us on our platforms at, on Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines on Twitter now at uh, I'm sorry at uh, Sidelines Pod Sideliners Pod and uh, let's see Facebook Laughing on the Sidelines Podcast uh, and TikTok of course. 
That's just laughing on the sidelines as well. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. Uh, keep on helping us grow. Tell your friends um, as much as you want to about how we have a lot of fun on this show and I get made off on a regular basis. But as always, thank you guys. Um, keep telling your friends if you like us, but if you don't like us. Uh, we hope someone replaces the water in your bidet with hot coffee. <laughs> if you don't like us. You tell your enemies. And until next time. America runs on Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing. That's we will see you later. Take care.